Hello friends, uh, we will discuss about uh, inflorescence today. We can describe about inflorescence as an axis bearing flower in a particular fashion. So the axis which bears uh, the flower and it has a uh, it bears in a particular fashion a uh, different type of structure is formed and that particular pattern is called inflorescence. Now uh, we'll discuss about the various type of informations we have. Majorly we have three type of inflorescence. First is racemose type. Then we have cymose type. Then we have a uh, mixed type, which is a mix of racemose and cymose. Or we can say it's a, a special type of uh, inflorescence. Now this racemose type of inflorescence can be further divided into eight type. Majorly, it can be divided into eight type. So we'll deal with all the details in the coming slides. First, we'll see what are types of uh, racemose inflorescence. The first one is we have raceme type. Then we have panicle type. The third one is spike. The fourth catkin. Then we have spatex type. Comb type. C O R Y M B. Umble type. And the last one is capitulum type. These are the eight type of uh, uh, major racemose inflorescence. Each detail we will be dealing in the coming slides. And in the case of cymose type of inflorescence, we have majorly three types. First is monochasial. The second is diachasial. And third is polychasial. These are the major three types of uh, cymose inflorescence. And the mixed type is basically four types that is hypanthodium, then we have cythium CYA. Verticillasterum, Celester, and we have Thyrus type. These are the four major type of mixed uh, uh, inflorescence. Now, uh, for the sake of uh, remembering, we can also make it as an abbreviation so that uh, while uh, studying it, we can remember all the uh, various type of inflorescence. Like, like for cymose type, we can make it MDP. So, this helps you to remember the uh, different type of cymose uh, inflorescence. The same way for uh, mixed type, we can make HCVT. So, these are small shortcuts, you can make your own shortcuts and study about that. Now, we will see the difference between the racemose type and cymose type of inflorescence. What are the major difference which both the type of inflorescence are having? And the first one is in the racemose type and this side we have racemose and they have cymose here. In the racemose type of inflorescence, the terminal bud, the terminal bud continues to grow 
the main axis has an indeterminate growth and the terminal bud continues to go. In the case of cymose type, the term terminal buds becomes a flower. The terminal buds becomes, it turns into a flower. And the main axis has limited or a determinate growth. So the second difference is the flowers in this uh, racemose type is arranged in a acropetal succession. Acro petal succession. That means the older flowers are at the base and the younger flower are at the tip. Older at base and younger flower at the tip. So this is called acropetal succession. The same way in the case of cymos, the flowers are arranged, the arrangement of flower is basic petal type, basic petal type. Now what is this basic petal type? We can say the older flowers are in the top, the older flowers in this case are on the top, the tip side and the younger flower are at the base. the base. So, this is the basic petal type and this is a acropetal type. So, this is a major uh, difference you can see in both the type of uh, uh, racemose and cymose inflorescence. The third type of difference we can um, we can say the flowers opening is uh, centripetal type. Flower if you say opening of flower is centripetal type and here uh, the flower opening is the uh, centrifugal type. That means in the case of racemose, the centripetal opening means the outer or the basal flower, the outer or the basal flower opens first and the central and upper flowers open last. So, the outer and basal flower opens first. and the central and upper flower it opens last. So, this is the centripetal type of uh, like in, on the base of opening of flower. So, here we uh, saw the uh, like uh, the older flowers at the base and the younger flower at the tip and this is centripetal type where the outer and the basal flowers opens first depending upon the opening of the flower. In the case of cymos, in the case of cymos, it is a centrifugal type where the opening of flower, the central and upper flower, the central and upper flower opens first. This is opening first, the central and upper is opening first and the outer and basal flower is just opposite, outer and basal flower opens last. So, uh, we can see uh, the major three type of difference we can observe in racemose and cymose type of inflorescence. See here now the last slide we have seen that various type of uh, racemose and cymose and mixed inflorescence we have and, uh, and in this uh, slide we have seen the difference between the racemose and the cymose inflorescence. In the next session we will deal individually with the uh, all the type of inflorescence and with the examples and the, with the structure and how it is uh, how it is basically the the flowering pattern the uh, fashion of the flowering takes place that we'll be dealing in the next session thank you